gonna jump right into the information. This is our four, three, two, one financial countdown to financial freedom. Okay, um, there are four challenges that we must overcome, and I, I tell people all the time: once you recognize these challenges and know that they exist, and it's easy to pass them up. Okay, there are three solutions to overcome those four challenges. There are two objectives that you want to hit financially with those three solutions, guys, and it's one company that's making it happen for most people. Now, I'm going to go in and talk about the four challenges, okay? The first one is inflation. Now, we call this the silent income killer. Guys, you have to understand something. Inflation creeps into your household every single day, okay? Understand something. Business owners can increase the cost of goods and services when they feel like it. So, therefore, um, if, you, if you look at it, if you go to the store today and gas is $3, okay, and you go to the store tomorrow and gas is now $3.50, understand what just happened. Okay, gas went up, but your paycheck did what? Stayed the same. So in actuality, guys, that's the first obstacle robbing you of your money, and that's just a gas example. By the time you add healthcare expenses, daycare expenses, groceries, and so much more, you can now see why people don't have enough money to even think about investing, okay? Now, look at what's going on right now. We have a lot of jobs and businesses, especially small businesses that shut down, okay? Now, once this pandemic is over with, watch how these business owners uh, increase their services, okay? Increase the cost of their services. Watch how it goes up. So if you never experienced inflation before, wait till this pandemic is over with, man. You guys gonna see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, the next one is taxes, okay? I'm gonna tie taxes together so you can have a better understanding, okay? You add taxes with inflation, now you have a serious problem, okay? Taxes is your number one expense. And ain't nothing silent about taxes, okay? Because the government reached right in, take your money, and they are gone. Okay, taxes takes the third of your income off the top of your paycheck. Okay, so that means you work for the government for a third of the year. So in other words, what I'm saying, guys, is from January to April, you work for the government and then you get paid afterwards. Okay, um, now I'm not telling you to quit your job by no means. I just want you to understand that the government has carved their way into your life with taxes. Okay, and we, we're not talking about tax evasion. We're simply talking tax minimization. Okay, so in other words, you got state taxes, you have property taxes, you have Avalon taxes, you have sales taxes. See, you have all of these taxes being taken out, but do you know the one tax you can control is your income? Okay, so if I can show you a strategy on how to minimize that, that's going to put more of your hard-earned dollars back into your pocket where it belongs. Guys, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Now, next we have debt. Now, we call debt the curse. Cause that's literally what it is okay i'm gonna tie debt and taxes together so you can have a better understanding so if the government is taking a third of your income off the top of your paycheck what does that force most people to do right that force most people to borrow off the bottom of your paycheck so most people wonder why they don't have enough money to advance by financially it's because of debt caused by the actual taxes okay i want you to think about something for a second how much more money would you have every single month if your debt was at zero Think about that. No car note, no student loans, no credit card, no mortgage. See, most people make enough money. It's just that the governments and the banks trick you into giving it to them. Okay. And once you understand that your third in line caused by the actual debt and then your third in line caused by taxes, you can kind of now see why you're third in line when it comes to getting your hard earned money. And guess who did the work, guys? You. Now, lastly, we're going to talk about big business. Man, big business is called big business for a reason, okay? I want you to think about something. See, big business know how to get you to spend with them, okay? Because what they do, they make your wants feel like needs, okay? So if you think about it, there are billions and billions and billions of dollars spent on everything from colors to logos um, to taglines to commercials to the time of day commercials I played <laughs> to the actors that's in the commercials. And guess what, guys? It works, okay? I'll give you an example. As soon as you go out there and you buy that nice flat screen TV, here comes that curved screen, right? As soon as you go out there and you buy that iPhone 11, you're like, man, this bad boy is nice. What they do? They launch that 12 on you. So guys, once it's all said and done, big business takes the final one third for most people, okay? Now, I'm not even going to go in and talk about all of the holidays to partake in monthly. But guys, you think about it for yourself from January to December, there's something to partake in every single month. Okay, there's a holiday 
that big business have you spending every single month. Think about that for a second, right? And I look at November, for example. November, you have Thanksgiving. I think right after Thanksgiving, you have what they call Black Friday that leads right into Brown Thursday that goes right into Christmas, okay? Those two right there, man, is, is killing, okay? They're, they're killing everyone with that final third. Think about it, guys. Big business know how to play with you emotionally. Okay, after all the rest of these entities done took their money away from you, now you have big business knocking. Okay, because last time I checked, guys, one over three plus one over three plus one over three, that's three over three. Okay, your, your money is gone. All right, so we have a solution for that, guys, and we have three solutions, and it's called income shifting. Okay, we teach you how to shift your income from the highest tax bracket okay drive it through a home-based business and then land out on the other side which is investment income okay we have cash flow management business income and investment income guys this is called cash asset cash you got to be able to take some cash buy build or grow an asset that's going to bring you more cash okay now i'm gonna go through each one of them so i can better explain it to you now as a w-2 as a w-2 earner guys your tax 28 to 33 percent okay understand that's the highest form of taxation in america so if anybody that works a job in a job alone they're taxed the highest okay now i'm not here to bash a job because i work a job i'm just here to tell you that there's nothing wrong with a job be grateful for your job just don't be satisfied okay because a job says i work i'm taxed and then i spend okay so when i sit out here and i talk to people and i say hey you know what what you think about this business, man? What, you know, how does this sound to you? Do you know that you're being taxed at the highest form? They say, well, you know, Ed, I'm cool, man. I'm, I'm going to continue working my job and I'm going to get a refund at the end of the year. Newsflash, guys. Let me explain to you what refund is. Re means again. Fund means money. Okay. That's your money again. You have to understand that your CPA is not doing you a favor, guys. You, you overpaid on taxes all year. Okay, the government has made billions and billions and billions of dollars off of us all year, and then they give it back to us at the end of the year almost as an interest-free loan. Okay, it gets taxed uh, because it's income, and now you have some people that's so broke at the end of the year, they go out there and they file rapid refund just to get their money even faster. Okay, so you got to understand, man, letting the government take your money off the top and then selling for a refund, you're losing. The good thing about it is, guys, now you can come over here to a 1099 that's business income okay now as a business you get taxed 18 to 23 percent okay already doesn't that feel better 18 to 23 percent understand this a business says i work then i spend and then i'm taxed guys that's a big difference but you're talking to someone that has a job and a 1099, which is a home-based business. So if you think about it, guys, you actually got the best of both worlds, okay? Now, as a business owner, the government pretty much incentivizes you or the government pretty much tells you, own a business. Own a business, I'll prove it to you. When you get married, the government does what? They incentivize you with what? A tax break. When you have kids, the government what? They give you a tax break. So what they're saying is own a business, own a business. See, both of y'all can't get the tax breaks, okay? A W-2 can't get the tax breaks as a business owner. So the government says, hey, you know what? For you having a business, I'm going to let you get the tax breaks because it takes three to five years to get a business up and running, okay? And if your business blow up, you're going to do what? You're going to hire yourself some, some, some employees. I'm going to get the taxes from them, okay? So I hope y'all see how that works. So having a business, you're already on the winning side of capitalism. I tell people all the time, nothing wrong with capitalism, guys. We just been playing on the wrong side, okay? So why don't everybody in America have a home-based business, okay? Understand, there are 475 plus deductions for business owners. I'm gonna just name a few of the most common. Think about it. If you drive a car every single day, you gotta get up and you gotta go to work every single day. Why not write off your mileage and have your mileage as a tax break? Okay, that's 58 cents a mile starting in 2020. Meals and entertainment. How many times do you take your family? Well, a lot of people are not going out right now, 
But once all of this is over with, think about how many times you went out to a restaurant and that waitress comes to the table about four or five times, okay? Now imagine you sharing this information with that waiter and now your meal just became a tax break. Okay, you have a cell phone bill, I have a cell phone bill, but because I have a business, I get to write that off. You pay internet, I pay internet, but because I have a business, I get to write that off. Look at what we're doing right now. We're actually using the internet to go live on Zoom. We got watch parties going. See, these are the things right here that you have to understand. What about you paying rent or mortgage for your home? See, if you're paying rent or mortgage for your home, you can actually write off a square footage of your home. What about your children? Now, for everybody out there that have kids, let me ask you a question. Are your children costing you money or are your children making you money? See, in most cases, your children are costing you money. So what if I told you you could pay your child, per child, up to $12,000 a year to assist you in your home-based business, okay, versus giving them allowances. Now you put them on a payroll, okay? Now you get to cut them a check, deposit it into their account, and now at the end of the year, that's tax deductible. See, you was going to spend the money on them anyway, but now you get to ethically, legally, and morally write that off. So in essence, Uncle Sam giving you uh, paying for your kids' school clothes, paying for your kids' video games, paying for your, your kids' clothes, whatever it may be. So guys, right here in the middle as a 1099 home-based business owner, this is actually where you want to be. We're not talking traditional business owners. We have the same tax laws as any other traditional business, all right? So now that we lowered our taxable income, we bought more cash flow back into our household. We drove it through a home-based business. Now, guys, we can go over here to investment income because they're taxed less than 15%, okay? That's where the wealthy play at, okay? That's why they make so much more money because they're on this side now to where their money is making money, okay, versus labor making money. That's different. Now, I'll pause for a minute. Do you know there's so many people out here that don't know what uh, stocks are? There are so many people out here that don't know what capital gains are, okay? There are so many people out here that don't know that they should be getting dividends, okay? They think dividends mean a divide, which it does, but it's divided amongst the shareholders, okay? They don't know what depreciation is. They don't know that they should be getting a 401k, okay? Because if they knew and understood that, they were maxed out on a 401k. And they would see now that they're getting money for free, okay? that pretty much that belongs to someone else. So you got to understand, guys, you got to have a business as well, not just a job, okay? So this is what investment income comes in. You got to put your money to work. You got to have your money work for you versus you working for the money. Now, our next slide. So now that we lowered our taxable income, now that we drove it through a business, now that we started investing, now we can hit our two goals, okay? There are two financial goals or objectives that everyone in this country should meet, okay? Objective number one is we get up every single day to go to a job or a business to do what? Earn enough income to support our current lifestyle. What do you mean by that, Anthony? Well, now we have to get up because we got to keep a roof over the head, clothes on our back, and food on the table. Well, that's why we get up every single day to go to work. Now, this brings me to the second objective. Now, I'm pretty certain Everyone someday wants to be able to walk away and have enough retirement coming in. Okay, so my question to you is, what are you going to do when, that, when you retire and that labor income no longer comes in? How in the world are you going to sustain your current lifestyle? Think about that for a second. Most people don't see that. That's why you see people uh, work for 20, 40 years and then go back there and get another job. Well, guess what, guys? We have one company that's doing that. We have one company that's helping people do that and it's called Make Wealth Real Financial. Guys, if you invest $228 one time and $119 per month to own your own home-based business, okay, we actually make wealth real by hiring a staff of individuals in all areas of your finances where most people need improvement. Okay, I want you to understand something. You don't have to know all about the tax game but why not let our enrolled agents, okay, we call those EAs, IRS approved and regulated, why don't you let our enrolled agents help you lower your taxes? It's really simple. Our experts are on standby for you. All you have to do is take your last two pay stubs, upload it to our MoneyMax experts, 
and they're going to go out there and they're going to revisit that W-4 form. Okay, that's the form you filled out when you first started your job. The problem is most people assume that form was asking for dependents, so they put a number of dependents on that form and they turn it into their human resource. So by them having that form filled out incorrectly, that's allowing a cash flow shortage in their household. Guys, let our experts go in there ethically, legally, and morally fill that thing out for you. They're going to kick it back out to you within a few days. You turn it into your human resource, and you're going to see some substantial money coming to your next paycheck. Okay? Next we have, and, 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 and let, me, let me go back for a minute. Also, if you go in Money Max and you upload your last three tax statements from the last three years, if you left any money out on the table, those guys are going to actually go out there and they're going to see if they can get that back for you as well. So that's a plus. Now, our credit max. Here's how this works. All you have to do, guys, is upload your last three credit reports, okay? And our credit max experts are going to take it from there. What do you mean by that, Anthony? Here's how it goes, guys. Upload your last credit report, anything that's erroneous, anything that's negative, anything that's inaccurate, guys, anything that's outdated on your credit report, our credit max expert is going to go out there and they're going to clean that up for you. You got to understand something, man. When credit scores go up, guess what? Interest rates go down. Now you got your buying power back, okay? Understand that. Next, we have Equity Max. This is our debt elimination program. Guys, we have our experts on standby to provide a game plan for you to shorten your time in debt. Okay, I want you to think about it. How much more money would you have if your debt was at zero? Okay, see, we have people right now that um, their mortgages are being reduced from a 30-year plan to a 15-year plan. How about having your car payments reduced from a five to six year plan to a two year plan? Okay, why not let our experts who specialize in this and does this for a living help you make those things happen? Okay, next we have Wealth Max. Here's where you set up a consultation. Okay, this is a private talk between you and a certified planner. Okay, you guys get together and y'all gonna talk about what we call land banking and private banking. Okay, these guys right here are gonna show you a different side of land banking and private banking that you probably haven't even heard from, okay? Think about this. Imagine going to an area where you see a bunch of trees, okay? Then you go back again, now those trees are cut down. Um, then you go back again, now you start to see a foundation, okay? And then you go back again, now you see some Walmarts. Guys, all that was was some developers and some investors that got together, okay? That's you. That's land banking. That's you being an investor. 400 acres of a brand new complex and you being in on the investment or where you guys, um, you went in on the development of some subdivisions. Okay, some property lots, some Walmarts. Guys, we have those investors, I mean, uh, consultants, firms that's on standby and those guys are willing to assist you and help you into anything it is that you want to do. Okay, they're here to assist you and help you get the best return on your investment. All of this right here entails in our membership. This is what it entails in our membership of $4 a day, guys. You can't beat it. It's nothing out there that can, that, can, that can compare to this. Now, let me pause for a minute. Here, here are some uh, testimonies with our Money Max and Equity Max. Okay, we have, um, who we have here? We have Ms. Yana. Ms. Yana said, I've been with this company for less than a month and I've already received my instant pay rate. Guaranteed results is, is much appreciated. We have Ms. Carmen here. Ms. Carmen says, since being in MWR Financial, one of the services we took advantage of was Equity Max. She said, our mortgage was our biggest expense and utilizing the Equity Max system, it cut our mortgage from exactly 30 years to 15 years. Okay, so this, this is powerful, guys. Our experts are actually doing this. We have my man Marquise up here. Marquise said, I'm grateful and thankful to have a 100-point increase on my credit score. My wife and I had the debt elimination consult, um, consultation. We received our plan to become debt free. Also the wealth max consult, consultation was truly amazing. It was great speaking with Eric. He was also excited to learn that our financial advisors who licensed in 30 states, okay, heating up to help so many individuals and families. Also we have Miss Jessica. Miss Jessica says, my spouse credit score increased within 60 days. Okay, that's powerful, guys. Now we have my man, Burt Sims. This is a powerful testimony, guys, because you run across a lot of people these days that say, you know what, Aunt, um, 
I really don't need uh, any assistance in my credit. My credit score is already good, okay? I'm already at an 800. But Mr. Burt Sims thought the same way. Mr. Burt Sims said, I'll admit, I think that I could use... I, I didn't think that I could use the credit service since my score was already okay. So I focus on tax minimization, debt elimination, and investment services. Well, guys, a long story short, Mr. Burt Sims came in with an 834, and he ended up getting an 845 just by using the experts that he had on standby. He said, hey, you know what? Let me just try it out because I have access to it. So he uploaded his credit score, went up 11 points, okay? So shout out to Mr. Burt Sims, man. That's awesome right there. So guys, these are just some of the testimonies, man, that we that we we had, and we have a lot more than that. But these guys right here stood out to me the most, man, because they're actually coming in. We have real people seeing real results. Now, you're probably asking, well, Anthony, how in the world do I build residual income with this opportunity? Well, I'm glad you asked because I also have a question for you. How many people do you know that's in debt and have no idea how to get out of debt, right? How many people do you know that have less than perfect credit? Okay, how many people do you know that that's living paycheck to paycheck? How many people do you know that dislike their current job and looking for career change? Better yet, guys, look at what's going on now. How many people do you know that got laid off from their job and no longer have income coming in? Guys, we get paid 10 ways in this company. I'm gonna share four of them with you. So we're gonna real quick, we're gonna go over the momentum bonus. Guys, you get the momentum bonus. With, so with the result of you uh, bringing three people into the organization that want to partner up with you, okay, and own their own home-based business, if you get three people within 30 days, that's a $150 momentum bonus the company is going to pay you, okay? Now, if you help those three get three within 60 days, that's a momentum bonus of $450. Now, if you help those three get three within 90 days, that's a momentum bonus of $900. Guys, now, these momentum bonuses, okay, they should be cracking out, but most people don't want it, and that's fine. This is really for the people that want speed and implementation right away, okay? I call that, this is for people that want that right now money, okay? So this is just one of the 10 ways that we get paid. I always bring this one up first because when you first start, okay, and you see that 30-day clock ticking, guys, now is your opportunity to go out there and help three people. Next, guys, is our leadership bonus. Now, with our leadership bonus, you get a chance to earn up to $50 to $125. So what I mean by that, anybody that you go out there and personally sponsor, okay, you go out there and you see someone that want to lower their taxes and eliminate their debt and increase their credit score, they decide to partner up with you. The company is going to automatically pay $50, okay? Now, you also get three points for everybody that joins your organization. And you'll see as I get into the next bonuses how those three points add up. Well, you get three points, but at the same time, you now have the opportunity to earn $75 for every qualified director that's in your organization, guys. And that's all the way to infinity. Okay, you can't beat that without leadership bonus. Anybody that goes out there and you partner up anybody within your first 30 days, you receive, let's say you go out there and you get three people within your first 30 days, the company gonna pay you 150, but don't forget, you're gonna get $50 per person that you uh, personally sponsor into your organization or that you personally enroll into your organization. So already, that's, three, that's $300, okay? Now with those three people and a customer, remember I told you, 119 a month. So if you got three people and a customer, that's 150 a month. Guys, your membership is already waived. Next, guys, is our daily guarantee. Now, with our daily guarantee, you earn anywhere from $5 to $1,000 a day, okay? So back to those three people and that customer, okay? When you get three people and a customer, you're already earning $5 daily, okay? Now, if you do $5 in 30 days, that's $150, guys. Your 119 is already waived. Now, imagine those three people going out there helping three people, and those three people help three people. Now you have 12 people in your organization, guys. That's $20 a day. That's already $600 a month. That's already life-changing. $600 a month is life-changing. Now, we also go up to $50 a day. Now, as you, as you get momentum and you move up and right now, you got $50 a day, guys. That's $1,500 a month residual, okay? Imagine getting $100 a day. That's $3,000 a month residual. Imagine going all the way up to $1,000 a day, okay? That's $30,000 a month residual. Talk about seven, 
think of Irma. Guys, there's no company out there that can compare to this right here because we offer a product and service that everybody can use. So every day at five o'clock, we get a notification, okay? Every day at five o'clock, we get a notification. You see here, this is a notification for $20 a day. We also have a notification of $30 a day. We also have a notification of $50 a day. So guys, with me being in the military, there's two things I look forward to every day at five o'clock. That's saluting the flag, and that's looking at this notification, right? Now, lastly, guys, and we're gonna wrap this thing up. This is our luxury car and mortgage bonus. Now, you also have an opportunity to earn from $500 to $3,000 a month, okay? So remember what I told you about the point system. Guys, if you, if you get up to 200 points, you qualify for our tier level one. That's $500 uh, for your luxury car bonus. Now, if you get up to tier level two, that's $1,250 for our car luxury bonus. And then tier level three, that's up to $3,000 for our car luxury bonus. Now, I tell people all the time, if you don't have a car payment, guess what? That money is yours, okay? Um, you can take that money, you can put it into investment. You can take that money, you can put it into your savings account. Whatever it is you wanna do with it, guys, it's your money, okay? You earned it. Now, on the 10th of every month, this is where all your bonuses are paid out, okay? So every bonus that you got, if you're getting paid every 10 ways on the 10th of every month, this is when your money is gonna hit your e-wallet that can be going into your account. Now, we're gonna go ahead and conclude. So I always conclude to say there are normally three people, okay? Three types of people that, that get on these Zooms or get on these calls or these webinars. Number three, say, Anthony, thanks for no thanks. Um, I'm good with my finances, man. Everything is good. My credit score is up. My debt is down. Uh, I'm not looking to earn any extra money. Uh, I'm good with my finances. I want to keep my uh, job at the highest bracket. I want to say thank you so much for tuning in. We appreciate your time. God bless you. Peace out. Number two says, you know what, Anthony? I'm in, but I'm primarily in because I just want the financial edge membership. I, I want to get in and I want to talk to the experts. I want to see if I can get my credit score up. I want to see if I can get my debt down. I want to see if I can uh, uh, schedule a consultation with the Wealthbacks team and see if I can start investing. Guys, that's $79 one time and $79 a month until you get your financial situation worked out. And then you have a number one that says, Aunt, I want it all. Um, I want to make the money. I want to go out here and share this information with people. Uh, I want the Financial Edge membership so I can better my finances. So I want the whole deal, guys, that's $228 one time, and that's $119 a month. What I want you to do is I want you to get back with the person that brought you onto this Zoom, get back with the person that told you about this information uh, so we can get you off to a fast, fast start, okay? So that pretty much concludes uh, my presentation. Uh, give me one second. Let me go ahead and... Zoom up out of here so I can go.